and welcome to the realms of Arcania. Um, I want to be honest with you, this uh, is episode 27 I think, and uh, I already started recording this one, and I was really freaking out, really. As you might remember that uh, we have this situation that Arbush has been petrified, and that is a state where there's only one cure for. So normally in the, in the original game, in the pen and paper game, if you get petrified by, let's say, a spell, uh, the spell wears off over time, so that you are, like, good in at least a couple of hours. Now, Arbosh has been petrified for a couple of days already. So aside from this being a really weird state, um, there doesn't seem to be a real possibility to get rid of this state in the game. So I did a bit of research online and I found out that uh, a lot of people are struggling with this and I actually had to ask in a forum about what I can do. And uh, there is supposed to be one character class that can heal petrified people and that would be the witch. And I don't have one in my group so there's no point of uh, hoping for that. I tried in one of my safe games to create a new character, bring it into the group, and, and raise the level of this character, but the necessary spell to get someone de-petrified or end a transformation spell um, was only be raised to minus three and that's not enough, so I really tried a couple of times. Um, I tried different healers all over the region and there's no healer that can do this. I also went to um, all those temple places that you wouldn't normally seek out for healing a condition like this, but apparently there is no way uh, to get unpetrified, I don't think it, this is the right word, but uh, to remove this condition. So I was like... Is this a conceptual error in the game that there is no possibility to get rid of this? And finally I found a solution in this uh, support board where they told me I have to visit a point or a place in Torval, which would be, I think, uh, I'm not sure if this is the place, the magical school or, yeah, the magical school. I hope it's over there. I really don't know where it should be else. Oh, it's over there, actually. Uh, the other direction. So let's just uh, get moving here. Uh, run a bit through the city. Let's hope we don't get fined. So, let's use the bridge. Eh. Come on. And then we can run here. That's not right. It should be this way. Okay, let's let's leave the map so it should be easy now. Is this the magical school here? No, that's the temple of Fex. So over there. Down here. Really? No, that's also not correct. So, we go back. I think this way. Maybe this? Is this the school? Good eye. Nope, it's not. <laughs> I really am lost here, so... To the right. Here. No. Cerebrant of of looks. It's a tavern. I went too far, right? This, this, so here we go. So let's see. You stand outside the school of Farsight of the Thorwallian Magicians Academy. A young adept inquires after your needs. So let's see, one of us is cursed, we need help. The adept leads you to a back room. Wait, Wait here. here. A middle-aged woman appears a short while later. 
Aranda of Methumis is my name. Let me take a look at you. She remains silent for a while, staring at... Ah, a curse. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh yes, business first. That will be 20 ducats. 20 do ducats? Do you want to? You got to be kidding me. 20 ducats. I think I got around 30 or something, though maybe it's... Uh... Six times five, yeah, something about 30, 35 ducats, and they want 20? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> I have no choice, actually. I have to do it, because I need Arbush. He is one of my tanks, and, and a good fighter, so I have no choice. After about half an hour, it feels much better, me. and shortly afterwards, the spell is broken. Aranda mops her brow. Done. I hope you're feeling better. I have to rest now. Fare thee well. <laughs> Fare thee well, my ass. Really. I mean, seriously. Oh, one, three, five, six, seven. I'm down to about ten ducats now. Oh my god. Ten ducats. And we... I have not even started to do much on our quest, so I kind of have no choice but to um, do a bit of dungeoneering now. Uh, I hope this condition does not appear more often in the game, because 20 ducats is it's really expensive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explore this dungeon a bit more. You might remember this from the first parts of this Let's Play video, our series, um, where we went into the old bailey and there was a door downstairs which we were not able to open. So let's see if we can do it now. So it's nice to see you again, all of Thorvald praises your heroism. Which is why I approach you with a task that could easily take the life of an unexperienced adventurer. In the deeper, usually inaccessible levels of the old Bailey dungeon, a nameless evil has settled. Get enough rope and some magic weapons and end this horror. I will, of course, compensate you for the trouble. Um, yeah, we should buy some things then. Um, he said we need ropes. Let's see. We got... One rope, one magic weapon. This is important now. Um, he has got no magic weapon. I have some stuff to sell as well. No more rope. Um, I got a magic sword. It's a short sword though. Um, she is good with swords, right? swords so that's her main weapon actually and it it deals less damage so f it's five to to ten and this one is four to nine it's one one point less damage but it is magical damage so i am able to slay demons and ghosts with it and there is no magical weapons there um, the staffs are magical weapons that's very important to remember and yeah, I think I think I'm good here. I would actually like to cast these enchantments. The problem is that these enchantments, all oh right, um, cost lots of energy, and I probably will need the energy down there. So what I'm going to do is I, I will buy some more oil. Yeah, I think I will buy some more oil there to be able to use the lantern. Okay, let's see. There's a tavern. There's the general goods, so I'm going to go there. Buy some stuff, sell some stuff. Let's see, it's supposed to be here. Hello. First, let's sell stuff. No, I'm not going to sell my supplies. 
I can. I have a spare helmet. But first of all, I'm going to sell all this crap. I will not sell the silver maze. I'm not sure what it does. So I will keep it for now. Yeah, I will keep it. So we get the short sword. I can't analyze it. This is another sword. Two-handed. But I won't be able to use a, a shield. So I just keep it for keeping it. You know. Kind of a trophy, actually. What's that? A bronze flask. So we keep that as well. There's more rope. So we got four rope. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's good. And, and a letter. Oh, wow. Seven farthings. No, seven silver. Five silver, actually, not seven. Okay. Um, I could sell one of these, but I will keep them for now. I have one spare helmet that I could get rid of. I will keep the silver maze, I will keep the swords here, I will keep this stuff. Okay, let's sell this one helmet. It's two silver only, but still. In my current situation, I'm, I'm taking every silver I can get my hands on. So now let's buy. Um, I need... I need oil. One ducat! You guys are crazy. I need... I will take three oil. Uh, I have two ropes. I hope that's enough. No, I only have one. No, there's another rope. So I have two ropes ropes and oil and magical weapons so I hope that really does it I will do a save here just in case and then we're going back into the old Bailey <laughs> I really like that dungeon it's a, it's a nice one yes let's explore the dungeon now this is great So first of all, we have to change this a bit. Um, let's just... That seemed to... Oh, yeah, right. There was this condition. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I think it was... I had to go this way. I'm not stealing from facts there. And um, now we have to. Yeah, there was this big room. Um, is there still some stuff in there? No, we plundered it. First sub level. get out here so I've been in this room and now let's see we have to get somehow over here Then through this door. Let's see, there was a there was another door. Yeah, this one. Okay. And then um, 
here. I think it was this door. And we were unable to open it. Oh! <laughs> That's nice. In the original game you actually had to open it yourself with a spell. And um, that saves a lot of energy for me. So let's see what we have here. Um, they removed the, 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 the locking spell. And now we're going to the second level. Uh, we will explore here a bit. Maybe do one fight and then I will end this episode. Let's see that. Um, where did we come from? There, right? So we're not going there. Let's just open this door. And I, you might notice that I'm going to save a lot. So I don't want to break my keys here. Uh, he doesn't have the lockpick. Right, we have to switch our characters. I will let Arbush do the work. And that actually did work. So, oh, that seems to be a natural cavern. A shaft, oh, a shaft leads into fathomless depths. You can hear a strange gurgling, gurgling sound coming from below. Yeah, we will not investigate this one further. Um, I have a bad feeling about it, so I'm probably staying away from this. And now let's see. Um, Open the next door. Get into this and near the east wall is a hole of perhaps four spans wide. Behind it, a steep but not vertical shaft leads into pitch darkness. Do you No, I don't want to climb this right now. There are four torches in the knit. Yes, I will take the torches though. Can use these pretty much. Near the east No, I won't I won't climb down there. So I think it's it's time to go here. Can I make notes on the map? Um Split group, use magic. No I can't. Hmm. How unfortunate. Oh, that's just decoration. And more natural caverns. Let's see what's behind that door. I didn't save though. Hmm. A spear is in this niche. Yes, I will take the spear. For some reason, I have the feeling we are going to need this one. And then we're exploring this cavern a bit. And... I don't know what's going on here. The passage has collapsed here. However, by the light of your torches, you can see that it probably continues behind the rubble. Do you want to try? This calls for better equipment than you have. It looks as though the massive rocks have defeated you. Okay, I need uh, some better equipment. I suppose a pickaxe would be in order. So, um, I think we're done. We've, we've been here. Uh, so, we probably need a pickaxe there. Or, we're going to use this. I'm going to decide this in the next video, not in this one, so thanks for watching. Um, it was very important to me to actually show you how to remove the petrification or the petrified state from Arbush. And um, so I hope you really you found this helpful and if so, just uh, click the like button. And so I hope I see you in the next one, episode 28, uh, the old Bailey part whatever. So I hope you had fun and hope we can see you next time. Until then, bye.